Hello everyone. Throughout the Bible, the vineyard is a symbol that directly represents the people of Israel and its history. In many stories of good and evil, faith and infidelity. This weekend, it is reflected in the two parallel scenes in Isaiah's first reading and then in the Gospel of St. Matthew. At the center of all the imagery of the vineyard is the desire of God, who in his love only wants what is best for his people. Nonetheless, Isaiah's song of the vineyard becomes a reproach and a passionate accusation towards God's people for the lack of reciprocity to the love and trust he has offered them. The Lord expected them to do right righteously, and they instead committed iniquities. He hoped for justice, and only outcry was heard. This vineyard produced only bitter grapes. This reproach becomes more evident in the Gospel parable, where the bad tenants of the vineyard are clearly called out. What is surprising about the parable is Jesus' response when he once again reveals the violent tendencies of those who claim to have the key of God's wisdom, namely the religious elite. They ask for a bloody death for the murderous tenants. Instead, Jesus only asks for new tenants. For Jesus, the righteousness of God is in his mercy. And this is also part of those fruits that the owner of the vineyard, God, expected from them. We continue to deal with the pandemic and all the consequences it has brought us. Many have lost loved ones. Many continue to see the suffering of sick family members. Others continue to experience financial havoc. It would be easy to use this weekend's readings to demand justice from the authorities who marked the great danger of this pandemic. But that will not solve the current crisis. Like Jesus, in the parable, we are called to proclaim that today more than ever, there is a need for new and better tenants in the Lord's vineyard. As a community of faith, each of us has a responsibility to improve the vineyard. We need to look at our own lives and see why we are not bearing good fruit. Yes, now more than ever, we need to pray to God so that we may live according to his call. We need to bear good fruit and not bitter grapes. Instead, we need to become the much needed good administrators of God's grace, even as we continue to weather the storm of this pandemic. And now for some announcements. Our daily masses in the church on Mondays and Fridays at noon are going very well. We are going to stop live streaming the Friday noon mass, but we will still record it and post it on YouTube afterwards. Don't forget to bring your pets for a special blessing at the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi this coming Sunday at 11 a.m. in the church parking lot. Please be sure to pets are leashed or caged. If you or someone you know is 18 or older and wishes to become Catholic or wants to catch up on missed sacraments, a rite of Christian initiation of adults has started up via Zoom. Please call the office to sign up. The boats are in and Deacon Rob has to shave his beard off. He will have all the results next week. Hopefully, we can catch the shaving on film. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And until we see you again, please stay safe, wash your hands, keep social distance, and wear your mask.